Hi, this is Mike Myers from College Exam Tutor with your 60 second tip for the ACT. Today we're going to review the third type of passage that you're going to experience in the science test uh, and it's called research summaries. There will be three different research summaries that you have to read and then answer questions based upon those. So it's really important that you're knowing what to look for. The research summaries are basically experiments and for that you need to know the scientific method. You need to remember that you can't have too many variables changing in an experiment. Otherwise, the experiment is invalid. For instance, if we wanted to find out what is the favorite ice cream flavor of uh, a given group of high school students, the first time we give them chocolate and strawberry. The second time we ask them to choose between strawberry and vanilla. The third time we ask them to choose between Rocky Road and Macaroon. Well, there's no possible way because you've got too many variables that you could know which is their favorite. The experiment would have to be something like chocolate versus vanilla, vanilla versus macaroon, and then macaroon versus chocolate. Because each one would have to be compared to the others to draw a proper conclusion. So watch for too many variables in the, uh, sci the scientific experiments that they do, the research summaries and try to figure out which variable they're changing, what are they trying to get after? What are they trying to prove? That's going to help you going in to reading these research summaries to answer the questions. For College Exam Tutor, this is Mike Bias, reminding you that if you study a little bit each day, the ACT is a breeze.